Welcome to this demonstration of AppSense Data Now. AppSense is data orchestration solution that gives users access to their corporate data from any device whilst maintaining existing workflow and keeping the data on premise. Let's first take a look at how a user would traditionally access their data. In this demonstration, my user has access to a corporate device. This corporate device is a laptop. While the user is connected to the corporate network, they have access to their home drive. Within their home drive, this is where all the user's data exists. So this is their corporate data and this is where their documents are. When the user is creating, editing documents, their workflow means that they save their documents to their P drive. So in this scenario, if I create a document on here I'm writing to my corporate desktop or writing from my corporate desktop. When my user wants to save their document they hit save and they are saving to their home drive. So this is the way that they're used to saving their documents. If I close down that document now we can go into the user's home drive that sits on the corporate network and we can see that we've created this document. So this is when the user is on the corporate environment. But what if the user wants to access their data remotely? The type of solutions that IT provide to their end users are typically things such as VPN solutions. However, VPN solutions mean that the user requires a secure ID token at all times to access their data to make that virtual connection. There's also the challenges in finding that piece of software to work on different operating systems other than the Windows OS. We need to think of how the user accesses their data or on a device such as OS X, so Apple's operating systems, and mobile devices such as iOS and Android. Are there VPN solutions available for those types of operating system? Another method which IT may provide users to access their data on their corporate device may be via a Citrix access gateway. One problem with this technology is the user's data is only available online. There is no way to access the user's data when there is no internet connection. So in these types of scenarios where the technology is provided by IT to give users access to their data is insufficient the users are going to find their own methods to make that data available offline. Typical methods include USB sticks, copying the data from the corporate environment onto these devices so they're available offline, emailing themselves documents and also installing third-party tools to make that user's data accessible on all their devices. The problems with using these third-party tools is where does the user's corporate data sit? Who owns this corporate data while it's in the third party cloud? And what about some any of the security flaws in that technology? This is where AppSense DataNow product can help. DataNow is an on-premise data orchestration solution giving users access to their corporate data from any device while still maintaining their workflow. If we move to another desktop now as an example, moving away from the corporately owned desktop, I'm going to go to my user's personal desktop. Because this is a personal desktop, this desktop has never been on a corporate domain. This user does not have a home drive. If you see here, there's no home drive connected to the, for the user. All that we do have installed on this desktop is the DataNow client. If we click inside the DataNow client and go into the DataNow folder, what we'll see is a synchronization of the user's home drive. Here we can see the DataNow demo document that we created earlier. And if I, as the user, make modifications to this, it's a personal computer. Again, file save as normal, click close, close again, 
there is a synchronization which is going on in the background saving that information back to the user's corporate home drive. That can be demonstrated if I jump back to the corporate device, to the user's home drive. If I go and launch that same document, we can see the modifications have been made. So here this is going from a corporate device to a personally owned device. No requirement for any VPN solution on the privately owned device or for the user to access their data through the Citrix Access Gateway. Now let's have a look at the data now synchronization options that are available to us. If we go into the preferences and select advanced we see there are three synchronization options. We can synchronize all of the files. That means all the files that are on the user's home drive will be synchronized to this endpoint. All the files will be available offline. We can select no local files. That means that only the files that are in use are synchronized down to the endpoint, but these are removed when the user logs off. That means there's none of these files will be available offline. In my demonstration, I have files I use as the option enabled. This means that only the files that I use will be synchronized down to the endpoint and these files alone will be available offline. To further demonstrate that, I can enable some options within the data now preferences to show me which documents actually sit on the server alone or which ones have also been synchronized to this endpoint. If I now go back into the data now folder, we can see that only the documents that have a green tick have actually been synchronized down to this endpoint. Accessing the data now demo has actually brought down that document. If I now double click or access another document, so such as this JPEG, it actually pulls it down as and when that applique, as and when that document is accessed. I can further demonstrate this by browsing to the folder that actually sits, or the data now folder that sits on this endpoint. Here you can see what is actually sat on the endpoint, which has actually been synchronized. If I now double click on a further document, accessing that document pulls down the document. It's only brought down on demand, so only these documents will be available offline. So far I have demonstrated how a user can have access to their corporate data from two devices, a corporate device and a personal device. But these two devices are both Windows devices and as we know users want to access their data from a multitude of different devices now and different operating systems. Devices such as mobile devices, iOS and Android and also on Mac operating systems too. What I'm going to do now is show you how we can access the user's data on a Mac operating system using data now. On this operating system here, this Mac OS, we can see in the top corner we have the data now client running and we can open the data now folder. What we'll see there is that we have the data now document, the data now demo document that we were working on earlier, and as we can see, all those modifications that we made on the different devices are visible. So if I make a further change to this doc, adding the Apple OS X and then closing down this document. Again, a synchronization is taking place, synchronizing those changes back to the user's home drive. So if I go back to the XP device or even to the user's personal device, launch that document again, we see those modifications have, made, have been made. So complete synchronization between these different devices, different operating systems. What I'd like to demonstrate now is the ability to enforce a policy to do a remote wipe of the data now cache. 
To do this, I'm going to go into the administration console and add a user to the remote wipes list. The next time this user logs on to data now, the cache will be wiped. To demonstrate this, I'm going to go back to my Mac OS X device. Before I do the remote wipe, I'd just like to show that my data now folder exists in the user's documents area. So there's a data now cache with all the corporate data in there, but also the user's personal data as well. I'm going to log out of data now and log back into data now as the same user, but now obviously we have the remote wipe enforced. So when the user tries to log back into data now, the policy enforced notifying the user. And when the user goes to go into the documents, we see now that the data now folder alone, the cache has been deleted. So data now has only done a remote wipe of the corporate data, leaving all the other users' personal data intact. That is the end of the demonstration of data now. Thank you for watching.